<clears throat> All right. Hello, everybody, if you're out there watching. Um, tonight I am playing a game for the PlayStation uh, called Philosoma, or as this title screen kind of makes it look like, makes it look like Philosoma. Um, the name means nothing. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Well, I know what it's supposed to mean, but it's... Um, now it's it's something they made up. So this is this is the kind of game that really fascinated me when I was a teenager when this came out in 1996. Um, I first found out about this game from the demo disc I got with the PlayStation when I first got it when it launched, and um, all it was on there was a video, but you know sci-fi videos of decent production quality um, that that really. Um, that's what that would get. That just put the hook in my mouth. Uh, so I bought it as soon as I could once it came out. Um, liked it a lot. Um, it, it is a fun game. It's extremely weird. It's uh, you know a two D and three D shooter. These type of games generally don't have a lot of story to them, but this game, in f for some reason, has a pretty involved story. That you kind of have to figure out for yourself because all the characters are just spouting n n jargon nonsense that you could barely make uh make heads or tails of and in the worst voice acting too so i'll try not to talk over the voice acting too much because it's, it's so funny and so bad uh the game itself you know it's, it's fun it's nothing special uh, but i should be able to beat it tonight i'm playing on easy i'm not good at these types of games so i'm gonna play it on easy but yeah, enjoy, um, Philosoma. So this opening video was the video on the demo disc. A sudden mission. That was Planet 220's search and rescue project. I have fought many battles and lost many of my men. But that was not all. The horror I saw was only a prelude to what was to happen later. I am Captain Nicola Michal, the leader of UNF SCV Gallant VFA 29. So, at least for the time, these um, cinematic elements are pretty good. Somebody respond, please. This is Planet 220. Can anyone hear me? This is UNF Gallant. 220, report the situation. I'm calling in for help. Please come. Colonel Kinabalu, the transmission has gone dead. Lieutenant Commander, proceed to 220 at once, full speed. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Commander Cox, red alert. Yes, sir. Strike, prepare for launch sequence. Launch all remaining. Cox to Charlie flight, initiate launch sequence. Roger, this is Charlie leader, initiating launch sequence. Delta flight, initiate launch sequence. Roger, this is Delta leader, launch sequence initiated. Charlie leader Masha to Delta leader. This is Delta leader Lang. According to the orders, I will be in command of both Charlie and Delta. Roger. Renix, D3. Delta Flight is now under the command of Charlie Leader Michaud. There's just so much Roger. dialogue. Roger. So Talk much to talking. Charlie and Delta Flight. They communicate Checking so out. little. Charlie Flight. It's like one, they won't two, shut up. Three, norm. And they Delta won't tell you anything worthwhile. Norm. One, two, three, norm. All fighters, hold for further orders. Roger. Lang to D3. How do you feel? Fine, sir. This is D3's first mission, Commander Renix. Take care of him. Roger. D3, remember your training. Yes, Commander Renix. Charlie and Delta, initiate final launch sequence. Activate engine. Roger. Catapult intention. Launch aircraft. Burner on. Maximum power. Ready. Go. 
So at the time this came out, this game to me was the definition Gallant of the next generation Alpha experience. Bravo are currently engaged in combat. The, the best of all, it does have some 3D elements, even though it's primarily 2D. Um, Gameplay is 2D. Evade but it has videos that we never really saw on um, consoles. Definitely not this quality. Both actual video quality and on. No, uh, it's the quality of the animation itself. Electric potential rising. Surface temperature rising. Cooling system normal. It's not the longest game, but um. At least at the time and for this type of game. A little on the shorter side, but not too out of the ordinary. And I'm not that great at these type of games. Uh, but I'd imagine, even on medium and hard, this is probably on the easier spectrum of these kind of shooters. Flash, dead ahead. Magnetic field detected. Caution, magnetic reaction up. The rock float is due to the magnetic field. Charlie Leader to all units. Engage in combat. This is Delta Leader. Renix, back me up. D3, fly low. Roger. Roger. Now, they don't give you any reason to know this, like who you are, but you are D3. When they say D3, it's your character. That's who you are. Um, took me a long time to figure that out. You kind of got to infer it. You got to kind of infer everything in this game. As far as the plot goes. Caution. Red doggy detected. Target uses detection radar. Charlie leader to Gallant. It's been noted. Usually I can tell how well I'm going to Gallant to Charlie leader. This game. Engage in combat. Uh, Roger. D3, this, this is this Delta leader. Field. We'll take the lead. You take whatever gets through. Roger. It's a little trickier than it looks. type of games usually you get pickups that will change your weapon. You have four weapons right off the bat in this game and you'll have them throughout the whole game. Three of them are useful. This is one is the most useful. One of them is a complete waste of time. But um, they each level up individually. And when you die, you lose all the power for just the weapon you currently have equipped. So if you're if you're strategic about it you can make it that this weapon stays at level 3 pretty much the entire game. As long as you switch to the, the shitty weapon as fast as you can. So you only go up to level 3, you take a power, you get that power up while you're already at level 3, the weapon you're having equipped, it does nothing. So a lot of times, especially at the beginning, you're going to be switching weapons just to get the other ones leveled up. The laser is useful in certain situations. And then there's a um, backwards attack that are, is useful. In certain, that is the only way you can attack in certain levels. Alice, output and data on. You definitely 20. have to level up that one. Mineral collectible plant or epsilon energy conversion 100 percent. An anti substance. This, this, what they they start talking about in this game just makes me shake my head. How do they expect anyone to know anything that they're talking about? Really, I'm a fan of the music in this game. It's not, you know, it's not the best thing ever. But Gallant to Charlie Leader. Bravo has successfully knows. entered spaceport. Roger. And it definitely Charlie ratchets it up units. as it goes Head along. Head for spaceport. You know, Roger. Right. It's break through the, the enemy. Along, Let's go. And much more fitting for the game. Uh, for the levels as you get towards the end. So that way it kind of progresses really well. Right, 
so I have the three weapons I need to use. They're all, all level up to three already, so... They haven't taken a hit, so... Everything's going really good. Now this is... This is really Charlie what blew my to mind as a kid. We'll take care of him. Um, Roger, Renix, D3, continue as flying far as how it plays, Roger. I would call it barely functional. Renix, follow me. Uh, D3, not that take care of the rear. Like, Roger. Not that it's problems. It's just even though I'm never quite sure, like if I'm like I'm running into things because of you know just how weird you know the 3D is. But, you know, even though I'm not quite sure, I rarely ever run into things when I didn't need to. So, you know, and that doesn't feel good, but it works. two type of missile power-ups you get. Uh, the ones I have right now are heat-seeking, so they'll search out enemies, and then the other ones will fire more often, but they just go straight ahead. I haven't really no noticed much of a difference either way. I try to stick with the, um, the heat-seeking ones just because there are certain situations where you know, they give you a little bit of an but overall, like, you know, I, I don't even think about it. Oh, there we go. I kind of saw that coming. Though. Length D3. Close your distance. Roger! So we're just in the first level, and, you know, we've got all sorts of different types of shooters. You know, and not that they're certainly not bad. They're enjoyable. It's definitely a jack of all trades, master of none situation. In these levels, there are I think there are two of these levels, and obviously you really need your backwards shooting laser or beam or whatever. When I first got this, like, it took me forever to even realize that there were, um, that there were, that we had different weapons. Let alone what the hell I was supposed to do on this level. I thought we were supposed to dodge everything. And that's, this is pretty cool. Bishaw to Delta Flight. Charlie Flight is currently engaged in combat with Doggy House. What? I repeat, combat with Doggy House. Proceed with caution. Roger. Exactly my response to Doggy House. What? How are you supposed to know what Doggy House is? No idea. But eventually you, you will figure it out. In range. Why it's called units. Doggy Be House? Alert. Roger. No idea. No. That's Doggy House. Visual ID. Target Doggy House. Charge mode in range. Right. Why? Renix. D3. Follow me. House? Roger. And all these video, all these like CG videos and stuff. Why am I even fighting this thing? I don't know what's going on. So now I'm switching to the useless weapon. Because I don't want to lose my level 3 Vulcan.
Multiple doggy house ahead. Damn. Target closing fast. Damn. Renix to Delta Leader. We're surrounded. Roger. Let's go, D3. Charlie Leader to Delta Flight. I'm on my way. Roger, Charlie Leader. All units, hang in there. Roger. Roger. That's level one. Or phase one is the all units game proceed closet. to join Charlie. Gallant to all units. Spaceport invaded by enemy. Now the very first enemy. part. What happened to Bravo? Destroyed. Second phase. Bravo's destroyed? What happened to Turner? It's, it's very He's brief. Gone. I can't believe it. It's just so Go badly around designed. The port. Take the access route. No idea what Roger, the point of it is. Display map. All no units set second. course to access route. We're going around spaceport. Roger. 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 Caution. Enemy preparing lasers. Mishog, they've locked. Enemy in combat formation. Impossible to evade. All units, prepare for combat. Roger. Roger. So if you're wondering what's going on story-wise, basically, some kind of alien force is taking over all the ships and stuff on this planet and attacking us and attacking people who live there. If that wasn't obvious. I don't know why it wouldn't be obvious. I've been yammering on my doggy house for 15 minutes. Now he, like, everything's zoomed in so close here, just all it does is make it extremely hard to dodge stuff. And now we're back here, like, we just zoomed out. So there's just no, there's no reason. Now this, this, I find in this, um... All flights. Alpha flight has entered the city. This is Charlie Leader. This level Any enemy contact? Alpha engaged weapons. in combat with I-4. Mishal, proceed immediately to the combat use. zone. Roger. Charlie leader to all units. Initiate ground mode. Roger. Roger. You're doing really well. Change to ground mode. You're not easy. I usually do worse than this. Alright, so now we get uh, another type here of our game playing this game. This is the only uh, level that's like this. And you just you have to use the laser in this one. You just have to. Uh, otherwise, there's just 
You're not gonna be able to take everything out. There'll be lasers all over the screen. It'll be near impossible to dodge. You just take you take out such a wide area of enemies using the laser. Ammunition level. Delta flight. Norm. Charlie flight. Norm. Gallant to Charlie leader. Air supplier on its way. Roger. This is Charlie leader. Charlie flight refueling. Klaus, Kurt, climb and follow me. Roger. Roger. Entering city. Checkpoint. Charlie Flight is merging with fuel supplier at the main line. Delta Flight, proceed to the tunnel. Roger. Break now. Caution. Hover carrier is armed and in range. Units. Three in front, one in back. Renix and I will take care of the front. So Roger. D3, take the rear. We'll Roger. Able to take this out. This is... Probably the easiest boss. Well, in my last stream, I said a boss was the easiest thing ever, and I immediately died. So I'm not gonna say that this time. Damn! I don't even know how I got hit. Well, it's just gonna make this take really long. Powered up weapon and I lost my missiles. Remaining units join that Charlie. Is phase two, Shaw, what happened to the others? They're gone. What? Klaus and Kurt. It's my fault. Gallant to all flights. Received call oh, from they're, survivors. They're writing in dialogue. Kurt, the origin. The mineral collection. In this tower. spot in particular. Roger. Just off the charts, like Oscar quality. It's like, you don't even know what happened. She's like, what happened? It's my fault. Okay. That's helpful. Caution. I work armed and in range. My God, look at them. Don't panic. Let's cut through them. Follow me. I love how that guy was totally freaked out by police cars, essentially. Really hard to track everything. Alice, check city structure. City, multi-structure, mineral collecting tower, industrial area, offices and general household area.
least. The fact of these um, ships as they like they like start on fire, catching a fire and going towards you. That's pretty cool, I think. But uh, oh, it also makes it seem like they can damage you when they can't. It's a little bit confusing. so great about this game is that it tends to, um, there's not really much of a safe uh, time after you get hit, so you can lose all of your Muscle energy in, in a very, now, very short amount of time. Shall take what's ahead. D3, take the rear. Roger. Roger. And here I'll use the lasers so I can do really damage to everything on this ship. Because the laser will go through. I do like the background on the stage too. Caution! Dead six! Bustle! Misha, retreat! My men were captured by them. What do you say, sir? Was the best line pain? delivery D3, in any combat, game right behind us. D3, ever. enemy is armed with high power laser. Be on the alert. so fast. to Charlie Leader. Survivors are down in the mines. Take the lead. But I, I can't. I I lost my men. I blame myself. <laughs> Misha, you did what you could. You can do it. 
Lang, thank you. And now we see the touch All of units, heart. follow me shot. Roger. Roger. I gotta say, when I was a kid, I played this as a kid, like, I unironically enjoyed all of this. Alice, check data. Epsilon 1, eloquent. Circular radioactive multi-structure. Multi-structured? Doesn't sound good. This one was hard because you get some people, some enemies attacking you from below, and they're really hard to dodge. Period of invisibility, uh, invincibility after get hit. You just don't take hit after hit after hit. Alice, start support. Heading zero four zero. Be careful, Renix. Support D three. Roger. D three. I'm right behind you. Roger. end up having to continue. All units, engage autopilot and change to ground mode. <laughs> Alright, I was going to have to use continue anyway, I guess. Have to level up all the weapons again, but Alice, check data. Epsilon One pellet plant. Circular radioactive multi-structure. Multi-structured? Doesn't sound good. like how they had enemies attacking you from below just nothing makes sense when you're trying to dodge that visually Be careful. Renix, support D3. Roger. D3, I'm right behind you. Roger. Engage autopilot. Hey, Jim. Change to yeah. ground mode. So I gotta pay a little more attention to this game, so I didn't even notice that you, you jumped in.
don't believe I need the rear weapon anymore, so as long as I'm leveled up on my Vulcan cannon and my laser, I should be alright. If I'm remembering correctly. So there's been a lot of weird things about this game. But perhaps the weirdest thing is that it has a sequel. Be released six years later, only in Japan, but with English voice actors for some reason. And it's a completely different type of game, even though it takes place immediately after the ending of this game. And apparently, it's very bad. It's a, it's a survival horror game, which, if you ever figure out the story, and that actually kind of makes more sense for a kind of type a story like this being a survival horror game. How are we supposed to fight? Alice, strength and backup. No use, Renix. But Lang! Just concentrate on the combat. All units, search commuter line. Break. Roger. Roger. Caution. Control system. Renix! This is the, uh, this is like the Eris' death in this game. Oh, how heartbreaking. I am in emotional turmoil right now. And now this is, as far as I'm concerned, the coolest level in the entire game. Reason for the crash? Unknown. Unknown. Oh, Renix. Lang, Renix was in. Don't say it. You have a job to do. The thing that sucks about this level is. Because you're twisting and turning so much, it's very hard to pick up power-ups, if you're able to get any. down there in the corner. At least I got the missile. This is Mishaw, engaging in combat with a mutated modulation machine. What? You two? <laughs> All units leave commuter line. Meet at level 2.041. Roger. Everybody be fighting mutated modulation machines. At least it seems that way. Caution. New tap. Enemy has acquired lock.
three. Are you all right? Yes, sir. Michaud to Gallant. We're at level two at the horizontally drilled hole. This is Gallant. Survivors are underground. Roger. We're going in. Good luck. So it's a horizontally drilled hole, even though it's clearly a vertical hole. Numerous living organisms detected. Another mutant? Insufficient data. Phase four. What are they? Insufficient D3, cover the rear. Roger. Now these enemies attacking from below are a little easier to dodge for some reason. It's still a pain in the ass. Now this is where the game tries to fuck you. If you're standing behind, that, that woman might just come right up your ass. to Gallant. Strega has been... Gallant. Transmission failure. Strega approaching enemy. Enemy equipped now, radar. I can take down these enemies. I can get a lot of one-ups. Unfortunately, it's more helpful to have bombs to be able to do that. Yeah, two one ups out of there and lost one life, so it could have been worse. What is that? Everyone, help get out! Sir! Lang! This must be Genom! Lang! Get out! Quick! I can't! The escape mode is Life sign terminated. Oh man. Oh man. What is this? D3, cover the rear. Roger. Gallant, this is Mishaw. Please respond. Gallant, transmission code. I don't know how this game didn't get notoriety just for the voice acting alone.
close up now. Distress call detected. Tracking coordinates. Transmission point. Why? Captain Michaud, Colonel said we lost life. The stress call continued. What? D3, rescue survivors, then proceed to evacuate. Captain, what was that? Alice, load self-diagnostic program. Check systems. Unable to load. Distress call detected. Distress call detected. Captain, Alice is, is malfunctioning. Alice, where is, is this the target? Last phase or whatever. <gasps> Seems very short. I feel like they rushed through it. Captain. <laughs> what? Oh, the, the really oh, no. whiny guy is your character. D3, my combat system is down. I'm out. Roger. Meet at the survivor call point. There's some great music though. I'll give the game that. First part detected. of the last boss. Survivors detected. Survivors detected. Survivors detected. Captain. Survivors detected. Alice, <gasps> this monster has taken control. D three, we're leaving. Roger. Captain, please respond! Engage autopilot. What? I'm Alice so switched proud to manual! To be playing is such a Auto whiny pilot. bitch. Captain! Current location. Center of planet. Detected Monella. Monella. A living organism. Three miles in height. 
Strega investigating. Pilot Miss Shaw. Start tracking. Attack. Life detected. Target in sight. Life detected. Target locked. Fertilization. 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 No. Fertilization. Fertilization. The AI saying this could be fertilization. 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 If you had a better idea what was going on. Fertilization. 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 She didn't repeat it non-stop through the entire Fertilization. fight. Fertilization. 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 This is a really, Fertilization. really black Fertilization. Fertilization. final boss. Fertilization. The other, the first form was harder Fertilization. and cooler. Fertilization. 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 Philosoma. Fertilization complete. Finally. Thanks, D3. You hear We're out of the here. name of the game. Break! Now! Does it add any meaning to the name? Target no. locked. Fire! It still means as much as it did to me before I started Burn playing. Burner on! Maximum power! Yes, I mean, CG holds up reasonably well. What in the hell? Are you all right, Captain? Yes, but zero survivors. All units destroyed except D3 and myself. Uh -oh. Rescue mission failed. Mission accomplished. What? <laughs> Did you not notice how the AI was killing your team members and... Generally acting weird the entire second half of the game. It's funny, this is, these are all the credits for the Japanese version. And then once this techno music stops and everything's done, then like for five seconds there's a black and white screen with all the people who worked on the English version. So yeah, and then six years later on PlayStation 2, there's an awful, awful, well, from what I hear, there's an awful sequel that takes place literally at the second this game ends. So at least it follows a story. But it's a completely different type of game and it's supposed to be pretty bad. But yeah, this is uh, Full of Soma. I um, really enjoyed this when I was younger. And you know, as far as the game, it holds up pretty well. I'm going to be, this over the weekend, putting together a three-minute review for the game. Uh, hopefully it'll be out before my next stream. And my next stream, I'll be playing Wild Guns on the Super Nintendo. Not Wild Guns Reloaded on the Switch. Playing the original. Eventually, I'll get to Reloaded. But for now, playing Wild Guns. That'll be Tuesday. This is Thursday. Um, thank you for watching whenever you watched, and have a great night.